Tell us the highlight of your experience with People versus Reginald Burks. I guess my highlight would probably be that uh, four o'clock morning. You know, being here, this office, <laughs> you were sitting in this chair when uh, we suddenly realized what time it was. How was that a highlight? It was a highlight because it was, you know, I've been up, you know, since working on this cross-examination of this guy, Art Winner, since about five o'clock the day before. And I was pounding through that at the same time working on going through the blood spatter expert who we were going to be cross-examining the next day. And, uh, you know, it's just when the time gets away from you like that. But then on top of it, you know, that happens to me a lot in what I do. But this time, it was the time got away and I was working on, you know, what might be the most important case of my career. What was it like for you to cross-examine their expert on cell phone location technology, whatever, whatever thing they claim to be an expert in, Art Wimmer? It, that was that was insane because you know I didn't know anything about how cell phone triangulation worked about 24 hours earlier, and you know we knew only the day before that he was going to come and testify, and so I put a call out and got some help from people to get up to speed on the science of it, and um, I was really worried because you know. I didn't know what I, what he was going to be like, and well, it turned out he was just a liar and not an expert at all, and that made my job a lot easier, actually, because if he'd really been good at what he did, he might have been able to trick me up, but I, I, honestly, at that moment on the stand, I knew more about it than he did. What was the feeling you experienced when the judge allowed the map to come into evidence? <laughs> I felt like I'd fallen through the rabbit hole. I did, because it was like, here I am, and he just testified that this map was something that was given to him by the cell phone company. So immediately, I've got it out on authentication, I've got it out on hearsay, I mean, this does not come in. And then the judge, he doesn't just say no, he doesn't just let it in, he takes the time to snap at me and to tell me that I'm wrong. And I remember the look on his face when he's looking at me like, how dare you suggest that? That's not what he testified. And then I try to argue with him, and I try to get, well, can I ask a clarifying question? No. I mean, it was just like, I mean, it was, I felt like, I think that that moment really summed up what you had been going through for five weeks in this trial. It was just like, I don't know where I am. I could have sworn that this was a courthouse, but this is like, am I dreaming? Am I still asleep? Am I oversleeping the actual time? Like, it was just insane.